Hi everybody, and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroh Bushcraft. Today I'm going to be sleeping in the Hex Peak, and it's the V4A. Okay, it's a very spacious one-man TP tent. You need a walking pole for this. Okay, um, it's a new purchase I've got. I was going to do a review on it yesterday, tomorrow, but I'm going to be sleeping it now tonight. If you look at me video before this, I'll put a link up the top or in the description. Okay, I may I had a disaster with the shelter, so I'm now moving to my alternative um, setup. So what I need to do now is I need to find a nice bit of ground, clear it, and then let's got let's get set up. Okay, it's my first time setting this up, so let's see how we get on. She has. Well, that's the area cleared. So now we're going to have a look at the components I've got. I brought my own pegs out because I don't think there's enough in the uh, package that I've got. There's only a little handful of them. Okay. Um, I've got a pole in here, which is like a walking stick. Uh, it's ideal, it's telescopic, so I can get the correct height. I've actually already marked it up with a bit of tape to get the right height on it as well. This is the actual hex peak, but uh, this has got uh, the inner, the outer, and it's also got a ground sheet in it as well. Okay, it, it weighs roughly um, one and just under two kilos or something. So, yeah, just weighs underneath two kilos. It compacts right down, but I suppose when I'm using this, I'll be keeping the uh, the inner in a different dry bag from the outer and the ground sheet. Uh, the, the ground sheet's like a bucket sheet. I think you can use that in the shelter without using the inner. So we'll have a little look at that as well. And then I'll decide whether I'm going to use that or if I'm going to set up the inner as well. Okay. So, opening up the bag, we'll have firstly, coming out is the outer okay I'm just gonna leave the inner and the bucket in there for now it's already been seam sealed by the person that I bought it off okay it's been used on a numerous amount of times uh, it's, a, it's a nice green color as you can see it's there I have the door here I want the door facing where the camera's going so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay it out like so for now so I'm going to do it, I'm just going to keep my pegs in my pocket, okay. Now, I believe what you do is, you have to grab it by the back. So like so. Obviously I want to get the door in position of where I want it to be, so it's not facing the wind. Okay. I'm going to move to this area here, that looks sweet, uh, let's just get this pegged out. Right, so now it's all uh, put out and it looks like a, a hectangle, hectangle, I think that's what you see it is, and anyway, it's, it's in its shape. So I'm just going to open up this, and as you can see, inside it's got these little runners, like a, a bit of material, got to make sure that's nice and straight and pulled out properly, okay. And then I'm just going to get me, me stick. I think my battery's going to die, so I need to be quick. Now I'm down to one battery then. So I've got this walking stick, okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to open the foot, the two bottom ones fully, and then inside of here I have a bit of tape on, and that marks it at the correct uh, measurements. Okay, I'll put the measurements up on the screen because I forgot them. I think it's about between 35 and 38. Uh, centimeters or inches sorry okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw that right up to the top make sure that's not going to be piercing through and we'll get this put in and then we'll get this tent uh, set up what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to go inside here and find where the cover is in the centre. I'm going to put my pole in. That's it there. Right, that's that. And then all I'm going to do next is I'm going to shut the door again. And then what I need to do is I need to go around and tighten up all the bits, making sure that it's done properly. Okay, as you can see, there's a bit of a gap on the ground going all the way around it. So hopefully that's the right height. Right, I'll just get these tightened up and then I'll walk these around. Right, well, here we have it then. So there you go. It's got a little bit of a gap all the way around at the bottom. Okay, just allow a little bit of airflow. But as you can see, it's got a nice shape to it. Okay. So on the tie outs, it's got like the main tie out on uh, or where each bit of material joins. That's to get your main string. These ones here are okay. These are just to keep the center of it pulled out. They don't need to be dead, dead tight. Okay. And then all the way around, it's got like, I think it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about six or seven tie outs on here to put, um, extra bits of cordage on for to pull it out a little bit better but i haven't put any of that on yet okay so yeah not too bad first looking at the size of it for the outside and then it has a little air vent up here it's just used by what do you call it and then the door actually goes underneath there and comes down so you can open it from the top okay or from the bottom zips work really well okay it's got little bits of velcro so all we're going to do now is we're just going to tie this up okay and then we'll look inside of it right well looking inside it seems like there's quite a lot of room um for a tent of this size so anyway what i'm going to do now is um i'm just going to check and make sure that it's out properly at the back there and because uh, these these bits of material here should be nice and taut and straight the one at the back is looking a little bit winky wonky and it's looking slack as well so all i'm going to do is i'm going to go around the back here where it's attached to pull them out a little bit more and then on this side as well where it's attached Hopefully that should be straighter. Yeah, looking that way now. Right, so next bit inside of here, we've got a bucket, uh, like a ground sheet. So this one here is for the V V4 footprint. Okay. Now I'm not sure if this fits the whole. The whole of the uh, tent or just the back part i've never had it out yet but it's, it seems quite big as you can see it's got all its cordage on yeah i think this is probably going to cover the whole lot you know So the underside of the material is quite waterproof. You can feel the waterproof texture in it. Okay. And it's got a little bit of material on here for some reason at the front. So I'm just wondering, does that go at the back or the front? It must go at the front. I think that's going to cover the whole of the tent like. So because I'm on some mud, I'm going to put this on to save me and I'm getting dirty like. 
So I'm going to get this attached and I'll bring you back and show you when I've done it. Very right, well, that's the bucket area set up. So what happens is it's got little hooks that go onto the live bits down here. And it's got a little cord and inside of there there's like a little rigid pole and that keeps the corners up. And as you can see, it's in line with the bit of material here on the floor. Okay, and it goes all the way around. Okay, it's a little bit saggy on that corner, so I just need to sort that out just that a little bit. But that's that's the main ground sheet in there now. So next thing is oh, the sun's coming out as well. Happy days. Next bit is I'm gonna put the inner in. Uh, see what that's like as well okay so let's get this back on the stand and we'll have a quick look of the inner this is all new to me so i'm doing it a little bit by bit i'm just going to take this out of the sun oh, oh it's getting a nice bright day of the day so i want to try and keep this off the ground you see keep it nice and clean so i've got a bag here with a few pegs in that i could have used I'm just going to put that down to the side there. All right, I've just used my pegs on it. I'm going to buy some decent pegs for this tent anyway, because uh, I want to take it up on the hills. So the inner, it's obviously, it's an all-in-one. It's got, it's enough to fit about one and a half people in. So basically your bag and yourself. All right, and it has on the sides, the same again as the bucket. It's got the little poles there to give it a bit of, um, bit of a bucket effect and then it's got the little hooks on here as well so all I've got to do now is work out how this goes in looks like I've got the, the that's the rear there that's facing you now it's nice bright orange like but it's going to be inside the shelter so I'm going to get this fitted on and uh, I'll bring this back because it's a bit fiddly and I haven't got room in there for a camera on my cell at the minute so I'll catch it in a bit well that's the inner sorted out i still got a few little tweaks i've seen some little things that people have done hacks on theirs as well uh, just to get it fitted better but anyway let's have a quick look inside the actual tent itself so as you can see from the outset all right it's got a humongous humongous festival it is unbelievable that you've got there uh, where the ground sheet goes you've got that nice dry area there to put your stuff okay um absolutely brilliant so anyway, still loads of room on this side and with the door as well, I suppose if you had another pole, you could pull the pole out and have the door up over as well so it give you a little bit of a fly sheet on the outside. Now looking in, obviously you've got, I don't know if you can see them, you've got little orange tags here on the outer side, okay, and then you've got little tags here. Now I think you're supposed to get some little clips yourself and clip them on, okay. Um, just so it pulls the net out a bit but there's more than enough room there the, that side's a little bit more slacker than this side I think so I think what I'll do is I'll do that little hack and get that done and that'll pull the net out a little bit more but also what you want to make sure is you've got plenty room as you can see in between the net and the outer so the, the wetness that the condensation doesn't transfer onto this and then drip onto you okay but as you can see there's an absolute tons of room in there but what i really like about this one is the festival the size of it it's just humongous like so you've got enough room to sit in there get all your dirty clothes up wet clothes and that and then jump into your pit so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get my bergen i'm going to put it over and get set up and then start thinking about getting some firewood cut in a fire area set up for tonight i think i might have some dinner as well so just down up at the top there, uh, another part, I think it's another part of Ed's woods. Uh, you must be out cutting wood or it's down the far end where I was last time. Um, so there's a bit of chainsaw noise going on in the background. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this. I think I've set it up properly. If there's anybody watching that has one of these and I've done anything wrong, let us know in the comments. I've had to put me, me, um, me tripod bag underneath that pole i didn't realize it had a little bit of a pin sticking out i didn't want it sticking a hole into the ground sheet so that's neither here or there but i think i'm going to be comfy and snug as a bug in there tonight um not that it's going to be bad weather like but you know so yeah really really impressed with that yeah 
I've just noticed as well that the actual inner is actually going over the top of the um, the ground sheet a bit like so I'm not sure if you're supposed to use the ground sheet and the inner at the same time so in the comments everybody if you've used this do you use the ground sheet and the inner at the same time or is it just for alternative types of camping all right be great if I can find out in the comments anyway get the rest of me set up set up set up set up and then uh, get some get a brew on and get some food I think season right well now it's time to get set up so I've got me sleeping bag and my room mat out of me out of me Bergen I've got me Bergen to the rear of us inside the vestibule as well and a few of the bits and pieces out and uh, yeah happy days like happy days indeed so let's get this pumped up and yeah it, there is heaps of room in here it's um my airbed's not even covering the full distance of the actual shelter as well that's even better so i'm going to use here is the um flex tail gear air pump and light so i'm just going to attach this to my nozzle first like the rubber connection I prefer that one because that's the type of uh, thing I've got and then just open it up fully stick that on and that's it stays on there nicely okay and it's also got a lovely light on it as well Just leave that on one side, let that do its thing. And we'll get these bits put them away. So I've got me um stuff sack stroke pillar case. I'm just gonna use this tonight and what I'll do is I'll put me softy jacket in. This is a one from uh firma rest. It was the most expensive stuff sack I've ever bought in my life. And uh yeah, I've had to start using it. I've stopped using the um, the pump up pillars because I just find the move in the night. So I've just used my clothing from now on again. That's me all blowing up there. Just about. That's it. And then just turn that before taking it off. That's me all done. I've just got to spin it around now. And open my head. Oh, actually, I'm going to leave my head at that side. That gives us plenty of head room. And then inside of here, I have my Four Season Leviathan 900 sleeping bag by OEX. So I'm just going to get that out. Give it a bit of a shake. You do get the odd occasional fellas coming out of it. Okay. But yeah. Not a, not a drama. And that's me set up basically inside of there, apart from putting some stuff in my pillar later on. So, air pump also becomes the light for inside the shelter later on. Okay, so all I'm going to do is there's a little hook up the top here somewhere. Well, there was. I'll find that in later on. I'll put that in there for now. Put me stuff in the stuck sack. That's the inner side of the tent sorted out. All right, no big luxuries inside of there. Just an air bed and a sleeping bag. That's all I need. And uh, yeah, happy days. So we're now for um, setting up the rest of my gear, getting organised, and then I'll bring you back and show you the full setup. Okay. Well, that's me fully sorted out now. I'm just getting ready to hide the kettle on, have a brew. And I'm going to make myself a, um, a quick sandwich with some um, sardines. So I've got my burger down there, bits and pieces. And then most of my other kit that I'm going to be using tonight is there. And then all my clothes and bits and pieces in the top there. 
and that's me sleeping some arrangements for tonight so that's happy days so yeah loads of room absolutely tons the festival is huge so yeah happy days life well uh time's getting on a little bit i've already got loads of wood over there ready to cut from um the shelter so all i need to do is process that a little bit make me sell a fire area i think what i might do tonight is i might have the fire just at the front here i've got my water hanging up on the tree over there for the time being um got the wind coming in from that direction so my tent should be okay but i was thinking i might actually just sit down here behind this tree on the floor and have the fire out here somewhere so it's not too close to the actual shelter but yeah i think it's definitely time to get a brew on and uh get some food as i'm a bit hank marvin let's have a look and see what time it is it is god it's 20 it's half past 28 minutes past two so it's half past two nearly so still got a couple of hours before the uh, the dark sets in like so not too bad but yeah that's that's a nice nice tent that i've seen a, a scottish lad i can't remember his channel but he, he does a lot of camping in this and he's hired up in some gear force winds and everything um and it's it's just being superb like so anyway i'm going to enjoy sleeping in that tonight and time to get some food on because i'm waffling four o'clock in the afternoon the sun's starting to go down i've been processing some wood and i've just been been over to where i had built that shelter grabbed a few bits of wood brought them over to make a bit of a seat so first of all i've got all this wood here diced and diced got them still to do all them chopped up i'd probably chop some of them finer again um, as well like because that's really nice wood some old dry branches some branches there and there's absolutely an abundance lying around everywhere. So what I've done is, I've, uh, I'm gonna have my fire up here, out of the way of the tent. Okay, plenty of room. And I've just brought some of the bits of wood over from the shelter I had made. Put them up against this tree, and it is so comfortable. I'm gonna be comfy sat on here the night. I'll put me little, um, me mat on here as well give us that little bit of extra comfort and warmth on my backside and uh yeah i'm just wondering i can feel a slight little breeze coming towards us. like i'm not sure if that's right i might have to knock a little fire up just to see because i might have to change me angle of me fire and put me fire on that side there and turn me chair around but hopefully not like because this is really comfortable you can obviously feel the chill starting to come in now starting to cool down but um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up but if you look in the distance you can see the sun starting to set now starting to go down I think we've got about another 35 minutes and we should start getting dark so yeah absolutely fantastic screenshot <laughs> possibly um, and anyway might be a thumbnail that never know but anyway, yes, it's time to get the fire area sorted. Then uh, once I've got that done, I'll put a layer of clothing on because I am starting to get cold now. Right, like. so what I'm doing now is I'm doing a quick smoke test. I've just set the fire alight and uh, just put loads of leaves on just to see where the smoke's going. And as you can see, I'm sitting over here on the right and the smoke is going to be blown away. So it's just another thing you can do if you're not sure if the wind's blowing into your face or not. I felt like it was when I was sitting on the chair. But as you can see, it's going off to my right-hand side where I'm going to be facing. So, 
that's a happy days for me like that means I don't have to adjust my fire area all I've got to do now is just clear the ground move my wood into location and uh, get myself comfy so let's get doing it and put that fire out as well eh? so it's just, just a, a fire lighter and some leaves that's all it is That's distinguished. Distinguished? Distinguished. Where we're on, we might as well the other area. With any dead leaves. And we'll start getting the fire in the fresh. Days. So, for me fire, I've got these nice big bits of log left over from the trees that I cut. So I'm going to put that about there, not too far away from the actual seating area. So there we go. That's going to be my fire area for the night. We put that a little bit closer to be honest. There we're gone. Happy days. Woohoo! <laughs> so that's that set up. Ready to go. And as you can see, I'm gonna be sitting down. The seat is so comfortable. It just it's got a nice V in it, so it's sitting very comfortable. With the mat on as well, it's gonna be even better. I need to spin me my fire around a little bit like. It's going to get chilly now, like, it's going to get chilly. There we go. And then once I've got my fire established, later on tonight, I'll probably just burn them, to be honest. So there we go. Fire area sorted. Seats sorted. Got some water to drink above my head. Obviously, I'll be drinking jack alcohol later on. And I've got all this wood here. I've got all them sticks there to snap and absolutely tons over the far side there to bring over. And then I've got all that wood there. Well, as you can see, we're starting to lose the light now. Sunset's starting to go. So it looks beautiful, that mind. I hope the camera's given it justice. But that's a lovely sky, the night like. Definitely is. Really nice. So anyway, we've got the, the fire area set. And uh, everything's organized. So happy days, got loads of wood there, even big chunky wood over the back end there. Loads of nice little bits at the front here. Um, I'm still collecting loads of little twigs and all that just to keep it going the night. I've also got my axe and my chopping board there, uh, just in case I need to slice and dice any more of them big bits of wood there, just to make some finer bits. But I think we should be okay tonight, like. But anyway, um, yeah, sound is a pound. So I'm, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to sitting down and relaxing with a nice beer tonight now. Well, and that at, at Jack Daniels. And uh, yeah, what a glorious night. That sky behind me. Look at that, man. It doesn't get any better, does it? Eh? Good evening, everybody. Well, it's time to get the fire going. Hopefully the camera picked up that sunset the night. Um, it was bloody gorgeous, like lovely red colors in the sky and pinks and all that and still a little bit there as well now but uh, we're gonna get some fire going so we're gonna get a little saw bit out and we're gonna get some fat wood going as well as the um the silky saw I ain't got me little silky saw where is 
but anyway it um last time i used a bit of fat wood i had a nice decent big chunky bit and when i've put it off put it down to the ground i went and forgot all about it and i think i've ended up burning it through the night like so i was absolutely devastated i think that was the last time i was out with uh, rooney so now anyway, we're just getting a nice Put a scrape and go on here. Let's make sure I keep it all on this bit of wood and keep it all together. So if you think you've got enough, you haven't, then it's time to do a little bit more. So I'm just going to do it to the side here in case I knock any of the other stuff off. This is getting a bit thin, this one now, like. I'm just going to put that chunk there. Oh, wrong side of the blade. Hopefully we might have enough here. Just had all the um, birds coming into roost before there. And the, the pheasant, because I was standing still watching the sunset, having a cup of tea, and this pheasant come flying in, landed right next to us, and then as soon as I turned it, nearly cropped itself like. But anyway, we've got some uh, some stuff there. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put my... Um, we knife away well the saw part i'm going to put this fat wood up on my seat so i know where it is and hopefully we've got enough bits of fat wood on there if not we'll we'll do something else but anyway got the fire steel from uh, forest fundamentals as you can see nice There you go, one spark on that fat wood and that's it done, that's in there. Now we're just going to get some nice little bits of lot, uh, twigs, start putting them over there. And hopefully that will catch. It's a nice bit of fat wood that like so. And this, these twigs are nice and dry. So I'm just trying to pick the thinnest ones just so the, the flame actually hits them. Move that a little bit away. There we go. That's better. Is it working? Yeah, I see some flames coming through, so that's happy days. That means my twigs are catching. Let's keep putting little thin ones on. Right. So the fire is established. I'm just going to hide these on now, and that should be that sweet as a nut. Keep them little bits for later. Get some of these little off cuts of bits of wood that I uh, cut earlier on. Let's put them on. And that's it. Sweet as a nut. Right, well, I think it's that time of day. It's time to get the, the GADs going. I'm just going to put my top light on. I've got a nice light hanging off the top here. So hopefully that lights it up a little bit. Make sure I've got nothing in there. Oh, first Jack Daniels of the night. I hopefully you can see is because the smoke's going right into where my light is. That's going in the right direction in any way. Yeah. That's better. And now I've stood up, I've disturbed the smoke and it's just swirling now. Oh, I love the smell of JD. It's lovely. So in any way, when you are all out and uh, enjoying yourselves, what do you like to drink? There is no in the comments, I'll tell you what, this seat's perfect. Right, everybody, cheers. Oh, I'm going to take my time with this tonight.
nice and well, uh, chilled out drink tonight. Oh, that's me fire going. You didn't see in the bottom right hand side, the flames are starting to kick in. That's happy days. It's not too far away, but it's not too close as well. And I'll just keep adding wood, get, get the fire built up nicely, and then uh, I'll get my pot hanger sorted out. Get some potatoes sliced and diced, put in my pot, get them on the go, and then when they're ready, then I'll cook my steak. And that's all I'm having tonight. I'm just having steak and potatoes, not cooking any fancy stews or anything. So, yeah. Happy days. Season a bit. Right, well, a bit of time's passed. My taties are nearly done now. So um, I'm gonna get me steak on the go. As you would have seen in a time lapse, I tied a little bit of oil in, into the bag with it and some steak spice. Give it a good rub. And it's just been sitting there for about 40 minutes to an hour. Uh, just getting seasoned a bit. So I've put the grill on and now I'm gonna put this onto my grill and hopefully we've got a nice cook so we're going to do about five minutes on each side it's now actually seven o'clock so happy days so by ten past seven i should be eating a lovely steak now i forgot to put some blue gloves in my bag so i'll have to just clean my hands after i've put this on because it's actually raw meat so there we go that's there now and then I'll just put this on the fire later on, burn that. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So in five minutes time, I'll be turning it over. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with a full cooking. It's not like the other video where I've done a full cookout video. All I'm gonna do is put it on there. Next thing I'll be doing is taking it off, putting it on the plate, letting it rest for a bit. Put my potatoes on, add a bit of salt, add a bit of pepper and then eat and that's it really I'm having a really nice chilled out night tonight it's really nice and quiet well quiet is apart from the airport but it's such a calm night the night um, and it's not too bad either it's, it's not too cold the fire's giving off a nice bit of heat um, so happy days like so I'll see you in 10 minutes time or 15 minutes even I'll see you later because I'm enjoying my nice chilled out time. Chill, chill, chill. Well, that's my food done now. I'm absolutely getting burnt off the fire because I've just put some extra wood on and my legs are burning. Oh my life. Tell you what, I'm definitely not cool tonight. And anyway, back to the food. I've had the steak on the plate for about 10 minutes resting. So that's going to be nice and juicy and succulent inside. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I've just put the potatoes on there. So, ee, my legs are burning. So in any rate, here we go. There's a nice meal there for me. Lots of potatoes, a nice um, ribeye steak. I think it's a ribeye steak. In any rate, I can't remember. Um, in any rate, some people might think, oh, that's a bit of a dry meal, but to me it's not. I love eating a steak on its own. It's got lots of um, steak spice on it in any rate. The potatoes, I forgot to bring some butter out because I like to spread some butter on sometimes but what I am going to do is I'm just going to put my spork down there I've got this nice little container here and this is something I got off Rooney alright and it's got some pepper and underneath the pepper it has some salt so I'm just going to take one of each of them out <coughs> excuse me I might need two actually of each but I'll just put the one on for now so anyway I'm just gonna sprinkle that on I never used to like pepper 
but I'm, I'm really getting into it now because I've been adding it to different meals that I make at home and things and obviously when I come out and make stews and that so I'm really I'm really coming round to pepper now I've never really liked it as a, as a young child or a young a young adult I think the salt might be a little bit yeah it's a little bit damp normally happens in these packets doesn't it but anyway there we go now I've just got to try and find my bushcraft knife which I think it's underneath here somewhere here we go me woodsman knife by my mucker Chris the uh, no fumbling no no fumbling sorry Chris so I'm just gonna slice me um, me steak oh see the juice is coming out of there lovely oh lovely jubbly that like Oh, 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 now you lost a potato. It's balanced very well on my knees, this plate, by the way. So I'm just going to cut a nice little section out of the out of the steak there. And I, I don't know if it's going to pick it up on the camera, but that looks lovely. And oh, it's got a nice bit of pinkness to it. Oh my life, mmm, that's just melt in your mouth moment, that is cooked to perfection that, let's get a little bit of the fatness off the end there, oh yeah, mmm, my fire is that hot, my windbreak at the back's on fire now, but yeah, lovely. And I always love a potato in any way. But with a bit of salt and pepper on, much nicer. Would have been better if I had some butter to put on. That would have been great. Mmm. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to turn my legs over to the other side because I'm getting burnt. And I'm going to enjoy this food with a nice bit of Jack Daniels, some tunes. And I'll catch you all later. All right. Can't beat a good steak, can you? Oh, lovely. Mm 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 mm. Well, I am officially melting with the fire. Happy days. Well, good morning everybody. What a fantastic sleep I've had in here last night. Um, it's after eight o'clock in the morning, so that's great. I've just been woken up actually by a robin flying around inside my tent. It was, it was flipping, flapping around inside my tent, like flying around. And I've just noticed the little bugger has only gone and christened it. It's shut. It's just shut on me tent. So I let to get that bloody cleaned like little bugger. But I flipping Robin in my tent. 
But after eight o'clock, so I put a kippy cell up. I tell you what, like, I've been having a lovely sleep, like. So, fantastic night last night as well. I think I did a, a night lapse at the end of the night. I think I've done a lot of night lapses actually testing it out, see what it was like. You've got to have it on for ages. I had it on for ages, there was like four seconds of footage. So, we'll see what the other one's like. We'll have to check it out. But anyway, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I think I could easily turn around and go back to sleep, you know, but. Now I've actually out my dust bag, it's a little bit chilly like. But, uh, yeah. Right, next time you see me, I'll be up and out of my bed. I might put a fire on to cook breakfast and uh, get a little bit of warmth. So, I'll see you in a bit. Right, well, good morning, everybody. Well, it's another fine day. It's a glorious morning, but it's bloody chilly. Uh, get a little bit of a cool hand. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to get this fire going again. Let's just get rid of all the, the dust layer. Hopefully we'll have some nice bits of coals on the fire. Feel the heat. So there's definitely coals there. It was a glorious fire last night this. on Let's see if we can get this fire going so we're doing that okay. a few dead leaves on as well see starting to smoke straight away that Nicely burning there now, so I've got a decent bit of flame on one side and I've got some nice ashy shower where it's nice and warm. Okay, so I'm just gonna move that a little bit. Water's just about boiled, well I think it is boiled actually. So inside my little egg container, obviously I've got some eggs and I've got a few rations of bacon in there as well. So I'm gonna put the bacon on first. bag to one side. I think I might have too many like but oh it's just when I'll only pan. <laughs> Never mind. I think I should have put them on the other way. I'll put them a little bit higher as well. Oh yeah, bugger that's hot. Anyway this is gonna our lap. Should be fine. Once they cook, they'll be alright. That's why I'm that fire like. 
I'll just leave my eggs there to one side. I've got a nice little frying pan to put them on. And uh, I've got a couple of little chunks of wood there to put on to make a little bit of a platform. So we'll just get the, let the bacon do its business. And uh, yeah. Just a nice slow cook. I've got enough water in there for a couple of brews. So I might make myself a brew now actually. Enjoy that while I'm cooking breakfast. Well, there you go. Can't get anything better than that, can you? Bacon and eggs for the morning. It would be nice to have them in some wraps, but they were a bit um, bit minging like. So anyway, I've done them eggy side up, or sunny side up, sorry. <laughs> just cooked them on one side only. So I'm just going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on, just to give it a little bit of garnish. I'll put a little bit more wood on the fire. Uh, so it's, it's going to start smoking soon. Yeah, me, me salt and that's definitely a bit... I'm not going to put any salt on the uh, on the bacon. It's salty enough, and a little bit of pepper. I think the hat's getting a bit slack. It keeps on falling over my eyes. And a nice bit of pepper, pepper on there as well. I'm really enjoying my pepper at the minute. I think I said this last night, but I didn't. I never used to like it. So there you go. Nice bit of breakfast. And a lovely cup of tea to wash it all down with. So I'm going to sit back and relax and enjoy this. And uh, watch the fire. And watch this lovely view in front of us. And I'll see you in a bit. Oh, look at that runny egg. Oh, lovely. Mm -mm. Perfect Mondo. Nice crispy bacon. Dip in some runny egg. Mm -mm -mm. Now that's finger looking good. Well, that's me just about packed now. So, all I'm doing really is uh, cleaning up the hex peak. This is a, a lovely little tent, this like really, really nice. There's a few little adjustments I need to do inside uh, for clipping the inside of the, um, the sleeping area onto the sides there's a little clips that's missing not apart from that as happy as happy as Larry with that like absolutely tons of space and then also what I need to do is I need to connect some little tie outs basically just to, it pulls it out a little bit gives it that bit more room inside and also makes it a lot more secure in high winds I'm gonna get finished packing up I've just got some wood to store away I've got my water bottle over there which I'm going to use for a drink and also brush my teeth and then put the rest of it on the fire and then down to the stream get some pots of uh, water put that onto the fire and that should put it out nicely all right so at any rate I'm going to end this video here because uh, I'm going to have a little walk around with my tent and things and thank you very much everybody for watching it's been a pleasure it didn't didn't start out the way it ended but i've still enjoyed myself and any rate if you've watched the video before this you'll understand that little statement there all right so in any rate thanks for watching everybody don't forget like comment and subscribe i'll see you on the next one